Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? It is King Hitman here, and we are going to go over the worldwide celebration, the countdown celebration, excuse me, the countdown celebration. The reason I'm recording this is because it does have the two Dokkan, like the massive Dokkan Fest ticket banners, which is definitely something that you guys should make sure you get all your tickets for before the celebration starts. It'll let you get a maximum of 28 at for the time being. And it, the banners, we're going to go over the banners. I don't know if I want to go over it in depth in this video or maybe another one. We'll figure it out. But yeah, use the worldwide collected uh, tickets. Ah, uh, uh, y'all know what it is. The summer crop thing is really not, or bumper crop, I guess. The lettuce harvesting event and the ultimate red zone are both active on JP and global. That red zone is, I think it's the hardest event in the game already. Like, I'm being dead serious. I tried to know it. I mean, I can't do anything with it. So... I, I'm really just in awe. I think the worldwide units are going to gap. Listen, I don't care if it's a sort of hope trunks. I don't care really how y'all feel about being unhype about it. That unit, or at least his counterpart, is probably going to gap every single unit in the game except maybe Balma, maybe my junior, Maybe. I, I really was blown all the way back by how powerful those androids are and we're only in the first two stages if the first two stages are like this what the hell are stages four five maybe six whatever amount they go up to what are those gonna look like and if this trunks come this this supposed sort of hope trunks or this supposed vegeto blue or this supposed goku black comes out are they supposed to obliterate the event is this field mechanic that powerful? Is that what this is? Very interesting to think about. Now, let's go over this celebration. The login bonus, the uh, the celebration tickets. Make sure you guys are getting those. Don't end up with 20 or 24. End up with all 28, please. Make sure you log in, missions, whatever it takes. Get your tickets right. Uh, the Dokkan Fest banners. The dual Dokkan Fest celebration banners. This is not the actual worldwide units, obviously. The returning campaign isn't really like something I care about, uh, but I suppose for players that do, take advantage of it. Good for you. The lettuce thing, I only got one stone tonight. I usually get... So... Yeah, I usually get like way more than... Like, oh, say for the Ginyu one, right? Or like the Gohan with the Ginyu one specifically. I usually get that super ultra lucky thing. So, at the time of me logging in that first time last night, I didn't get anything crazy good. Now, the ultimate red zone, like I said, absurd. I I don't want to gas it because I know how y'all react. But I think Cell is the hardest fight in the game. I I, I am blown. But with to no item, I think he's the hardest fight in the game. I, it's him or Cell Max, but Cell Max is such a different type of boss. I don't really count him the same way, right? Like, it doesn't really register to me the same way. And then we have the tickets for it. Make sure you guys are actually trying to get something solid because this STR Rage Trunks, he could EZA, right? And I'm assuming he's going to be a very solid unit. Shoot, his namesake might get taken away from him anyway, so I guess he'd just be another sub-EZA unit. But yeah, the Protector of Peace, these things or whatever, I don't really care about like the Super Strikes and the story events until they get updated or new stages and whatnot. The Extreme Z areas are up. Every Dokkan event is up. Every EZA is up. The five-minute stamina reset is down to three minutes. We love that. 30% off everything in the Baba Shop, excluding film. And then four times rank EXP if you guys link level. Make sure you keep doing that. We got to lock into that. But yeah, if you go over here and you look at this, these ticket banners, I... I don't want to downplay it, but like this banner isn't... Neither banner is absurd. For me, I'm going to be mainly summoning, primarily summoning on this one because I do want copies of AGL Cell. I have them with like two copies, I think, but I do want copies of him. I don't have Into Resurrection F Blues. I don't have Tech K on Khalifla. I don't have Tech Pan. The only detriment to me right now, the only unit on this entire face I have rainbowed is AGL Zamasu, who I expect to get an easy A. I would actually wish, if him and Trunks were swapped, it wouldn't even, it would be like perfect for me. Because I don't have Into Goku Black rainbowed. I don't have any of these guys rainbowed. Um, and I do have AGO Zamasu rainbowed. I don't have Trunks rainbowed. I have him 5-5. Five, five. He's a double nickel unit for me. Now, if you go over here and look at this unit, the tech androids can still be used in just about. So, 
that's fine. I mean, AGL Ginyu is actually, he's like weirdly, not weirdly, but still holding up. Like his team is not inept, I guess is the best way to say it. It's, it's fairly capable. I think there's a chance in future Gohan EZA is during this celebration. I think that would be a massive W. Personally, I would love to see that in future Gohan is my favorite future Gohan. So not in just future Gohan. The character is my favorite future Gohan. Or, <laughs> And <laughs> future Gohan is my favorite iteration of any Gohan unit or archetype or name or anything like his character evolution. That's my favorite one. Yo, I'm a goofy man. And then we got Chaditz, the Dawn. All right. Most of you guys are probably going to be summoning from a boy Chaditz. I completely understand. I don't blame you at all. Did my screen just freeze? Goodness, my screen froze. So yeah, I'm expecting t uh, Tech Trunks to easy. I, I mean, into Majin Vegeta, uh, like his orb neediness still annoys me. I don't think Vegeta and Trunks are good enough anymore offensively. To, and uh, with this new cell fight, I'd even say defense for sure defensively because they were taking like 75k from normals. I mean, they were building up casually, but even after they got hit like two, three times, they had super attacked and then super, supered again. They were taking 24K. Like, they took like 40K, then 24K post super attacks. It was rough, man. I had a real rough day. But, uh, yeah, STR Kid Boo, I got him rainbowed at will, so I don't care to summon. Like I said, this banner is not for me. I think both banners are very level. The thing you're really summoning for is, let me see. Let me go pull it up. Let me go pull it up. Yeah, so what you're really pulling for isn't ma any of these main units. I mean, unless you're collecting, of course. If you're collecting, where well, I'm the type. I want every single Dokkan Fest TUR I can get in my possession. The, I, I have everything on this banner, literally at least one copy of it. So I'm not really chasing. But um, I don't have them all rainbowed, but yeah. So on JP, this is JP's iteration of the banner. Amon and Raisin is quite literally the best unit on the whole banner oh yeah they're the best unit on the whole banner the str krillin is an amazing unit off this banner that ss2 vegeta that rage vegeta he's an extraordinary unit on this banner i think ends pan gets a lot of sl slack like slander slack whatever i think she's really i wouldn't say slander she doesn't get a lot of respect maybe is the way i should put it but um i think she's really good this new cell fight is a stress test for int units because even though she can dodge when she doesn't dodge, she's taking like 90k it, it post super attack. Of course, she's in slot three, so it's rough for me. I'm trying to figure out what units are even ready for this fight. It doesn't feel like there's too many. I'm really going through it, bro. I mean, I tried to use Int Carnival Gohan, but I think he was in slot seven, so I didn't get to see how he would tank in a fight like that. Good cell was obliterating me, bro. It was bad. So, yeah, on global at this point, I mean, Yajirobe, this STR banner unit, Piccolo is one of my favorite banner units ever. He is my favorite banner unit right now. I want to see how he's tanking versus Cell consistently. We'll see what he's able to do on that movie hero team, of course. I guess at the moment, I probably shouldn't judge him off the movie hero team because my movie hero team was getting punched. So, I it doesn't really make sense for me to run a movie hero team versus that Cell fight right now. The first two stages, it was... I had a bad night, man. I had a bad night last night. Anyway, into Chila, I would not, I wouldn't say like she's great for the cell fight. Of course, she has so many abilities and she is really good. If she gets hit, she's probably taking like 160K or something like 120K, something like that. She's taking something crazy. So I'm not testing her. After that, all of these older ones are really just if you want. Oh, there are LRs on this, man. I could have sworn there weren't. Did I? Which banner doesn't have LRs on it? So this one has LRs on it. So that's a massive win. That's definitely a win. Some of these guys have EZ8 already, such as like Baby and things like that. You do want some of these other ones too. Launch had just sub EZ8 on JP. If you get her on Global, you can make sure you put those dupes towards it. She is a good EZ8. I, I like what she does on EZ8. Oceanus, however, she was the one I had the most hope for. And they let her down. They let her down for sure. So, yeah, I don't have to explain how summoning works for you guys. I'm just letting y'all know that the real appeal to this banner should be if you're missing any of these units, count how many you're missing on each banner. And then I would say after that, you could go, oh, I'm missing copies of Ginyu, Kid Buu, and AGL Gohan instead of missing copies of AGL Cell, 
you know, um, Eiji Ozamasu and Tech Pan. Like, you get what I'm saying? And, and then say you're also missing Int Gogeta on the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on this banner. Now the score is 4 to 3, and you still want some of the banner units. So hopefully, even if you don't get the exact Dokkan Fest you wanted, you're getting some real quality units on the, uh, like the underbelly of the banner. You guys know. So I'm going to leave it there. This is just the celebrations. This is the teaser. Like this is the countdown celebration, and it started off very well. I think giving us what is, I think is the hardest fight in the game at the moment is uh, I can only imagine how strong the later stages are gonna be. I can only imagine how strong the worldwide units are gonna be in part one and part two. I can't. I've been saying all basically a half the year now. I can't see how a unit is going to be clearly better than Bulma for the rest of the calendar year and now we're at a point where I have I don't have Bulma so I can't speak for how she performs in the event but like I would think she's getting hurt in there I would I would, you can beat it with her for sure but I would think she's getting hurt in there how are you how how do you beat that Bulma so clearly we're gonna probably find out whatever this sort of hope trunks is this Vegito blue this Goku black this merge Zamazu whatever that unit is we're probably about to find out but I'm gonna leave it there young hitman is off this